Hello, good evening and welcome to tonight's upload. My name's Emma, make sure you subscribe for hauls and also vlogs. I do weekly vlog every week and next week's weekly vlog will be a Disney trip with my mom and my little girl and it should be loads of fun. So tonight I'm doing a little bit of a different video. It's very new for me. I'm hoping you're gonna enjoy it and if you don't enjoy it, I'm sorry, perhaps go and watch Think House. I'm doing a haul, but it's a haul of a different kind. This week's haul is going to be kind of shop my closet, but not even shop my closet, shop my kids' closet, spring and summer wear. So I'm aware that kind of there's loads of hauls on the internet, and I know I do the Home Bargains one and I do the Poundland ones, but generally with clothes, I kind of try and reuse clothes as much as possible and once we are finished with them we give them to the charity shop or give them to friends um, my little boy gets a lot of um clothes from our friend jocelyn whose little boy's the same age but a bit taller because ethan's a bit short so i thought i'd show you some of the stuff they're going to be wearing this spring and summer this kind of stuff will be in the shops again because it's it's items i've bought time and time again in these particular shops and it might give you some ideas um i store them in our garage if you want follow me on instagram go and follow me on instagram you will have seen that i got them out over the weekend and we washed them and kind of got them all fresh and put them in the wardrobe and then i will take out the winter stuff and the stuff that doesn't fit them go to the charity shop the stuff that still fits them will be put into storage got all our old christmas jumpers in the creepy cupboard in the bedroom hello guys so we are in our garage this is where i have my office and in here is all sorts of storage here is like where i keep my mugs and this is very, the top is very dirty because we have a lot of stuff done in the garden but we have drawers in here um, that keep all kind of summer clothes. We've also got some upstairs. So what I'm gonna do is, actually, if you can think of a better way to store it so it, it stays a bit drier, maybe I should put them in vacuum packs and then put them in here. I don't know because, actually this one's not too bad because it is kind of airtight. This one is not airtight at all. So we keep all the summer clothes here and what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to wash them see what still fits the kids anything that doesn't fit the kids i am going to send to the charity shop and anything that still fits the kids this is what they'll be wearing this summer it's very hot today isn't it erin she stood next to me so she already needs a pair of shorts i'm gonna have to get a pair of shorts out of here for it to wear straight away but yeah this is where we keep oh, did you hear the dog sneeze <laughs> like, Bleh. this is where we keep okay bless you this is where we keep this is where we store all our stuff so let's crack on we are going to start off with my little girl so what she will be wearing and she got this last year is a lovely denim jacket from h&m it's lasted really really well it looks really really nice she's eight this is seven to eight and it fits her at absolutely fine she may even get another year out of this um it will be a bit cropped but there's nothing wrong with a cropped jacket also from h&m i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna say it h&m is the best for kind of summer and spring stuff for kids and the reason why it's really good is because it does it in two year kind of increments when you're little so you get like two to four and then four to six six to eight I am the kind of mom that will buy something a bit big, so you have one year where it's really, really big, one year where it fits, and the next year it's a bit short. Um, so Erin's coming to the final year of these shorts, and these are size six to eight, and they're just really lovely little shorts. They're generally around two, three quid. Sometimes you can get them kind of buy two, get one free. So she has got some lovely kind of red shorts with pink birds on these are my favorite ones of erin's she has worn these oh they've washed really really well these are flower ones she wears them all the time um you can't tumble dry them but these are great little shorts from h&m she's also got some emoji ones and she did have the t-shirt but the t-shirt is now a crop top so the t-shirt has gone to the charity shop so that's six to eight and it's lasted her probably three years it's like her third year if you're a mom of a little girl you will know that these are the best dresses to get from H&M. These are 2 dollars Sometimes you can buy two, get one free. And they're just really long kind of uh, t-shirt material dresses. My mom, Nanny-san, always is like, I wish they just did these in adult sizes because they're just 
perfect and they come in so many lovely patterns um this is actually eight to ten so she had this last year she will have it this year she will have it next year and let's see if we can get another year out of it these are also great to shove in the wash let me check i don't think their tongue will dry though unfortunately but if it's really nice and sunny you can just pop it on the line i think they're great to put over some in costumes as well when you're around the pool so she's got a flowery one she has got quite a few of these and also she has a bird one this one is eight to ten as well this one seems a bit shorter actually but she's got a really nice bird one they will have all sorts in there they'll have unicorns they'll have stars you name it they've got it so h&m are great for stuff like that also these are two other frocks from h&m um this is in a size six to eight this is kind of like more like a day dress so if you kind of if you're in the summer you want to go to the park actually this is probably not great for a park a white dress i'm gonna say like maybe if you're on holiday and you want to go out for an ice cream or a walk this is really easy to chuck on i love this one it's like low waisted i really like the geometric print i would wear this if they did it in adult size do it in adult size please so size six to eight for that one i feel like this might have been about 5.99 but i do know that i got i think i got that one and also i definitely got this one in the sale this is six to eight as well it says we are strong um and it's just it's really nice to chuck on it's it's good to chuck on or maybe if you're going out for a restaurant during the day if you're on holiday you can throw it on um i also love getting a nice hat from h&m they do loads of really good ones for the girls however guys how do i make this not be dead flat these are always about three pound um and she will generally have this for a couple of years i usually get her kind of one from h&m for like best and then i usually get one from primark to pop in her school bag um, because they have to have a hat on at school and they get destroyed. Any top tips for having all day lotion on and not wrecking clothes, please send it my way. So that's that. Shoe wise for Erin, I invested in these last year and they are saltwater sandals and saltwater sandals are great. I've got two pairs. I've got a rose gold pair, which is my third summer of wearing it and I've got a red pair like Erin's. This is my second summer of wearing it. I will say, for some unknown reason, and I don't know if this was a faulty pair, these have not worn as well as mine. She still wears them, but they have gone a little bit strange around the toes, and I don't know why. Um, you can walk in the water in them, you can go in the sea in them, you can go in the sand in them. They are quite expensive, but if you can get a couple of summers out of them, they are well worth it. They kind of mould to your feet. Let me know if you want to do a shop my wardrobe of what, I, I, as I say, this is like an experiment for me. I don't even know if you're going to like this video. I don't know if you prefer me to show stuff that you can buy in the shops. I have no idea. But, um, hey, I'm trying to do my little part of saving the planet by buying, you know, wearing the same clothes. Let me know if you want to do a shop my wardrobe with me and I can show you kind of my summer stuff. Um, this is an old frock from H&M that I love. With my summer stuff, I also keep it in the garage and then I bring it out. I've actually, just today, you might have seen on my Insta stories, I've swapped my winter and summer wardrobe and I've got some dresses that are probably about six years old and I still bloody love them. And there's nothing like somebody going, oh, where'd you get your dress from? You can go, uh, I got this years ago. This one, it was seven pound. Oh, I love a bargain. Right, another great place to buy shorts and these are super cheap is Pep & Co. And I remember picking these up um, kind of as a last minute panic, I think, before we went on holiday. So she's got some fluorescent ones and these are super cheap. She's got some plain grey ones. Can these go in the tumble dryer? No. She's got some plain grey ones. And just, just some black ones. So just some little shorts to pop on. Right, on to my little boy's wardrobe. So... I'm gobsmacked at the amount of shorts that this human small boy man child thing has got. So I will go through. First of all, this this little section of stuff is from Primark. Ethan is six, but he gets away with wearing five-year-old shorts. He's always worn shorts like you. So he would have worn these last year and they would have been a bit baggy. And this year they'll fit. Um, so I always like to get these type for nights out that go really nicely with little shirts. So I like like the burgundy ones and also they kind of match his dad ones, which I really, really like the idea of. I also have got these. Now I feel 
This might be the third summer of these, some little striped ones. And then just for kind of like knocking about the park or in the garden, I like the ones that are like little tracksuit bottoms and these are great from H&M. Just some grey ones. I will say the darker colours, if you're keeping them for a few years, don't wash quite as well. They get a bit bobbly. Um, but these are size 5 to 6, so here we'll wear these this summer and maybe next summer if possible. <gasps> the bright green ones. Another great place to get shorts is good old um, Matalan. I oh, hang on, were they all Matalan? No, that was that was H&M, wasn't it? Did I say that was Primark? That was all H&M. Is Primark. So I love these ones because these are also like Stevens ones, and he'll wear these with a little shirt. I've got some more navy blue ones, and these are also really cool because if they are a little bit baggy for one year, you can kind of do the button-up thing to make them smaller. And then for the next year, you can kind of have them a bit bigger. These will like be at his knees and then gradually each year they'll get a bit shorter. Here's a prime example of something that hasn't washed that well. Can you see? It was dark grey and it's super bobbly. This will definitely be shorts for the garden. That one will be. Leaning over here, another great thing I love to get for Ethan is a jazzy shirt. And this was from Pri oh, Matalam. Yeah, this is from Matalam. And they do some really nice, lovely, bright colours. This is a size 5. He wore it last year. He'll wear it this year. I don't think it'll make it to next year. So what I'll do is I'll put that in the charity shop. I also... Hand on heart, the best quality kind of children's wear, if you want to wear them more than one, one year, is the next stuff. Because next, it's fab in the washing machine, you can chuck it in the tumble dryer, and it wears really, really well. So Ethan has got this shirt, and I think he's had a variation of this shirt, maybe for either three or four years, because we just love it so much. So it's a jazzy pineapple shirt. This size is, is this size five? I know it had it when it was four as well. Um, so this will last this summer and maybe next summer he can wear it open perhaps with a little white t-shirt underneath just to kind of keep it going. So that's some of the summer clothes. We have got loads of other ones that um, are kind of in the process of being washed and like revitalised in time for this season. It's weird being on social media because you're under this pressure to continuously buy stuff and put your kids in lovely clothes. And sometimes when I've done come pack with me's, I've felt a bit like, because it is the same stuff and it is stuff that isn't in shops and it is stuff that kind of um, maybe isn't super trendy and it's not from an independent shop. But it's just clothes that wash well, dry well, you can wear them in the park, you can wear them to the beach, they're reasonably cheap, they last a couple of years. So kind of, as a mom, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for like longevity. And that's not to say I don't buy the odd like tutu that's not gonna last, or the odd kind of like crazy pair of Crocs that won't last more than a summer, because of course I do that as well. I'm only human and I know my kids love that kind of fun stuff. But this is gonna keep us going for the, the spring and the summer. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know it has been a little bit different. Let me know if you'd like me to do a shop my wardrobe. Maybe I could do a style kind of show the dresses how I would style them, like midi skirts and stuff like that. Um, I will see you on Wednesday for a Disneyland Paris vlog. I love you lots. Make sure you subscribe and give me a huge thumbs up and I will see you very soon. Bye guys. Bye.